I've been wanting to film this video for a very, very long time for you guys. This is how I organize my makeup collection. Now, right off the bat, this is gonna be a really long video, so know that going in. We're gonna be here together for a while. Um, this is not going to be like a makeup collection video. I know a few of you have requested that and I will probably get to that eventually. What I'm planning on doing is kind of getting through like bought it, forgot it for a good year till I can declutter some stuff and then do a makeup collection video. So that'll probably be later in the, this year. But know that I have heard you and I know a lot of you requested that so that will come. But this you'll kind of get a little bit of an idea what's in my collection because you'll see a lot of it when we go through how I organize my makeup. Now let's just start from this point. I do not have a dedicated beauty room. I film in my dining room. This is my dining room table that I come to you from. You also see me filming in my family room. You know, most people don't have a dedicated beauty room. It's just not in the cards for most people and that is a-okay. So um, if you do, you're very lucky and that's fantastic as well. But most people I think don't. A lot of people have limited space, um, especially if you're in an apartment or if you have kids that have their own bedrooms, you don't have an extra guest room or another room. So that's kind of like where I am. Um, I also work from home. I don't know a lot of you know this or not, but I do work from home. I have a sales job that is flexible hours, but it's still like a 40 hour a week job. And so I need my desk for my work and I can't dedicate it to a vanity or that kind of thing. So what I have done is I've actually kind of split up my collection in two ways. I have my desk and I am gonna get to all this, you will see all of it. I just wanna kind of explain it first to you guys. So I have my desk where I work from and I have my makeup collection kind of mixed on my shelves and I have a kind of Alex type drawer thing um, next to my desk. So I've kind of mixed my work and makeup together and I'm gonna show you that. And then here where I film from, I have just a little drawer, like a little cart, not really a drawer, but it's a little cart um, which has like makeup I use on a daily and weekly basis. And so I'm gonna go through everything and show you how I shop my stash and how I bring things in and out. Um, and hopefully there will be some tips and tricks that you guys can use, especially if you're in a smaller space and you don't have a vanity just to dedicate 100% to your makeup. So that's what we will be doing and we'll get into it right now. Okay guys, this is my cart that I use on a daily basis. So this is all for what I am rotating in and out of my collection and kind of what some people would call their everyday makeup drawer. Since I don't have an everyday makeup drawer, I use that little box right there. And that houses everything that I use consistently or holy grail things or things that I just use every single day. And I'm gonna go into each and every box, you'll see what's in them, but just as an overview, this little cart I actually got on clearance from HomeSense. It was originally like $150, but it was on clearance for 80. It has a little side hole so that you can grab it and move it around, and it does have caster wheels on the bottom, which makes it really easy. So it's just a nice little small little thing um, that can kind of be kept out of the way. If I really wanted to get it completely out of the way, like if company was coming and I didn't want them to see it for some reason I could completely get it into another room pretty easily so like I said I'll get into what's in every one of these boxes in a minute but let's just kind of go through it on top I have my mirror that's what I use every day I sit it on my dining room table when I'm getting ready then that top box there is for my bought it forgot it items I like to keep them separate so that I you know use them they don't get mixed up or forgotten about that next one like I said is my everyday makeup and then this middle one it's got this little thing here which makes it difficult to take boxes in and out so instead of putting boxes there I've got my face makeup brushes I've got my eye makeup brushes separate and actually let's get into this because this is kind of how I organize my makeup too so these are all my face makeup brushes here I don't really love these things only because the bottoms of brushes can come out of there and they kind of slip around a little bit. So if there's one area of my makeup collection that I think needs a lot of work, it's my brush storage. But for now it works okay and I can easily grab it from the top, take it in and out and put it on my dining room table when I'm getting ready. And then next 
in the middle there, I've just got these little mason cups that I have all my eye makeup brushes. So all of these are blending brushes and then all of those are either like lid brushes or accent brushes, anything that's not a blending brush basically. And again, easily can take them in and out. Um, pretty much everything I buy, I buy from HomeSense. So these are about eight bucks each. These was a set of four for like $10. So really affordable storage solutions. This little cup here, again from HomeSense, it's kind of that blown glass thing. This is all my mascaras, my eyelash curlers, my eyelash glue, and my little eyelash applicator and tweezers. So that is what's all in there. Behind that I have a little Q-tip holder that needs to be refilled. These are all my eyelashes that I use on a daily basis. Um, well, not a daily basis, but the ones that I have on rotation. So I keep them separate in this cart as well. And then here are my makeup sprays that I have on rotation. So setting spray, Fix Plus, and this here is a little daily brush cleaner. And then down here, I have this little box, and this is where I put all my blushes and highlights that I am rotating in and out. So here are the top two boxes that sit on my rolling um, cabinet thing. This one is Bought It, Forgot It. If you don't know what I'm talking about when I say that, I'll link my playlist below. Basically, it's stuff that I used from my collection that I have completely forgotten about, and I go through one every month, and then I review it at the end of the month. So that's what all this stuff is. I'm not gonna get into what's in there because it's all random. <clears throat> By the way, these boxes, again, HomeSense. Seriously, I spent my life there. Okay, so this is my everyday makeup drawer. So since it's not a drawer and it's a little box, what I've done is I actually bought this little acrylic organizer, again from HomeSense, and it kind of just helps me separate everything so that I can put a lot of stuff in here and I know where everything is. So I've got my primers that I'm rotating here. I have a pressed powder there, not a pressed powder, I have a loose powder there, loose powder there. Here's my highlights that I have highlights that I rotate in and out, but these are like every day. So that's champagne pop. And then I've got some like inner corner eye highlight. This is my Laura Mercier matte radiance highlight, which I use a lot. There is my painterly, um, just a couple of highlighting products, some powders that I use, my concealer correctors. These are all the foundations I have on rotation. There's my spray primer. This is just all my eyebrow and eyeliner products. So. This is stuff that I just never rotate out of my collection, basically. I will rotate different concealers and primers in and out, but I don't, you know, I don't do that too consistently, maybe once a month. So that's how that works. Everything else pretty much stays in here all the time. And this is my box of blushes and highlights that I rotate in and out of. Again, this box is from HomeSense. I like this one because it's got a little kind of latch thing on it. Um, anyway, so it opens up, stays propped up by itself, which is nice. I have another one of these things in here. It's actually the exact same as the other one. And this is just all blushes and highlighters that I don't want to forget to be using. So I have them all in here. So when I'm doing my makeup, I will pick them ahead of time usually. I usually pick out all my makeup ahead of time and kind of like put it in a row along this table from start to finish of what I use and that makes it pretty easy not to forget a step or you know go scrounging for some blush that won't actually match my eye look kind of thing. Okay guys, so just ignore that stuff over there. That This is my dining room table like I explained and when you have kids, you have mess like that all over the place. So, um, in addition to the stuff on my cart, this is stuff that I keep like on my dining room table when I'm getting ready. I will sit my mirror kind of right here and then I have space down on the table to put my makeup on, kind of organize what I'm going to be wearing for the day. But this stuff here is stuff that I rotate in and out of my collection. So this is a drawer organizer that I got from Marshalls and it was... Very, very cheap, I think it was $20. I had it in a haul just recently. And this has made it really easy to organize stuff that I want to bring in and out so that I can rotate things and, you know, just get some use out of stuff so it's not all just sitting in my 
collection kind of. So well, this here houses my makeup palettes that I'm rotating. So you can see I have some on the go up here and then in here, got some more. And basically those top two drawers are all eyeshadow palettes. This here is where I put my bronzers that I'm rotating and any contour powders as well. And then the very bottom is where I'm rotating in and out any single eyeshadows. So um, single eyeshadows are something that are so easy to forget about in your collection. And so I always find that if I at least put them out here, they have a much better chance of getting used. And then next to this, I use this for a specific reason. I use it for brushes that are just too dirty to like even spot clean and that need a deep clean. And then I keep my beauty blenders in here. And then I also put in this bin anything that I really need to remember to use. So that's why this is in here because I need to do a first impression on that. And so that's why that is right in front of my face. And then right here is just lip products that I am wanting to use it like wear in videos or make sure that I just use so that I'm not forgetting about them. So I take them from my little acrylic organizers in my office and then I just put them in this little thing. Now because this is my dining room table, obviously this can't stay here forever. So if I ever need to clear it off, this is just a little bit of stuff that I can easily transfer over to my cart. Okay, you guys, so this is where I work. This is my desk and kind of my makeup collection. If you hear that loud background noise, that's the two fish tanks in this room. So it can get pretty loud. It's one of the reasons I don't film in here, but the main reason I don't film in here is because this is literally the middle of the house and it has the absolute worst lighting of anywhere in the house. I actually have my, you can see, my ring light on it right now and um, that's why it's lit up but even so it's still not all that great okay so this is my desk where I sit at you can see I have a mix of work and makeup here so I like the way it's decorated the shelves I just got from home hardware the picture there is from um, home sense um, pretty much everything decorating the shelves is from home sense and that white IKEA style drawer system is not from IKEA that is from Amazon and I would not recommend it simply because it is extremely flimsy and um, if you even like knock into it, it moves from side to side but that is where I keep the majority of my makeup so let's just get into it Okay, so here's my actual desk. I'm holding the camera on kind of a stabilizer, but if it's shaky, I'm really sorry. Over here is where I keep the palettes that aren't in my rotation and that I like the best. I keep them out here. This is a little kind of organizer divider, again, from HomeSense. I also have some work stuff in behind here with some really pretty file folders. And then over here, I have this little glass dish and this is just where I keep stuff that I kind of throw in there and use on a daily basis. I have my floss in there, I have like lip balm, my watch, stuff like that. Um, over here I have this little carriage my aunt gave me for my birthday and that's where I put my SD cards for my YouTube. I love this organizer. I got this from HomeSense of course and it's perfect for organizing liners because it has four different sections and then the front. So here I have gel eyeliner. I have some miscellaneous stuff like uh, makeup remover pens. But over here I have all my different black liners, all my different colored liners, all my black liquid liners. Well, actually any liquid liner, but they all happen to be black. And then all my lip pencils. So that all goes in there. So that is pretty organized. And down here is, again, stuff I kind of use on a daily basis, um, lotions, I have like a humidity spray for my hair, I have some blotting papers in here, um, lip scrub, that kind of stuff. So one theme you're going to see is that my lipstick is all on display, and really that's just because it looks pretty and you can buy these nice acrylic organizers. Every acrylic organizer I've ever bought has been from HomeSense. So these are more of my high-end i try to keep my high-end ones by themselves so there's those got some other ones up here perfume collection is kind of interspersed but it's kind of put to the side of stuff where the sun can't really reach it and then i have this little guy here which 
has some miscellaneous stuff, some more palettes that I don't really use very often. And then this is all my liquid lipstick and some of my lip gloss. Over here, um, this candle holder, I've talked about it once before. That's every single one of my necklaces. I'm not really a necklace person. And so, I don't know, I don't use a lot. I mainly only wear them in videos. But I hang them off of this little candelabra thing. I just think it looks kind of Stevie Nicks, Fleetwood Mac-ish vibe. So, okay, here is my um, rest of my collection. So up here is just all decorative on the top. Over here, this little cup, I got at a thrift store when I visited my grandmother last year. That just has some miscellaneous beauty blenders in it. This is all my primers. And that's all my eye primers up there, and that's all my face primers. So I don't really have too many drawers, so I just started using that. And then I will kind of, you know, whenever I'm sick of a primer, I'll take them out of my everyday, and I'll put them in there, and I'll rotate them. So again, some more acrylics. Um, more lipstick over here. This is more kind of drugstore. These are mainly my minis and like little thin things that don't really fit um, standing up. So they're kind of grouped together. And then this is all my other setting sprays. So it's more like stuff that I don't use as often or have put away for a while and now I'm using something different and rotating in and out. In this little gold box here is where I put makeup brushes that I'm not really using. And this was from one of the Sephora favorites boxes at Christmas time. So that kind of looks nice sitting there. Of course, I've got Kermit. I've got my little 99 cent art from the thrift store that I adore. I think it's so cool and vintage. Um, okay, so let's get into what is in this actual drawer organizer here. Like I said, it's completely flimsy. Like, look at this, guys. It just rocks back and forth. And also, it is not as deep as regular Alex drawers. That's as far as the drawers come out. So, the only reason I don't have regular Alex drawers is because I don't have an Ikea anywhere near me. And um, that's that. So, maybe eventually I will. But for now, this is what I use. Okay, so I could probably get into a larger unit. This is kind of getting a little bit overflowy, but it's okay for now. On the top, I have all my highlights, all my bronzers, and that's also highlights and bronzers, but those are more ones I don't really like that much, so they're kind of off to the side. This pink like organizer, this is just dollar store stuff. So because this is so short and it doesn't open very long, it really limits how you can organize it and just how you can make it work. So I'm just trying to make it work the best I can. So this next drawer is all my kind of face foundation products. So this here is everything that's BB and CC creams, then all foundation products, and then all concealer products. And then in the back, again, is just kind of stuff that I have tried and don't really like, so I've just kind of pushed it out of the way. So this is all kind of my single shadows and small palettes and shadow sticks. So again, this is just organizers from the dollar store. The first little part there is my shadow sticks and like trios and duos. And then both of these two are all single shadows. There is no rhyme or reason to it. This can stand to be a lot more organized, but again, I'm trying to go through like all my bought it, forgot it, so I can decide what I like and what I don't before I declutter. So it's okay for now. It's okay for sorting through when you want to rotate stuff in and out because it's not like I need to go in here every single day and find something specific. I'm taking things out every week and putting them into my everyday stuff, which makes this not such a big deal. So this next drawer is all my blushes. The front two are more so high-end blushes and the back two are not so much just drugstore but more stuff that I don't really like very much and I really don't use very often so it's really just been pushed to the back. Again, this is really difficult to organize because the drawers are so shallow. Um, it's hard to kind of reach those back ones so this could stand to kind of get a different organization but at the same time I don't really think anything different is going to work because of the shallowness of the drawers so it's okay for now because I do rotate it in and out. This next drawer is all face powders on the left and all lip glosses on the right 
and that's pretty much self-explanatory. The little organizer here I also got from HomeSense and it fits pretty good in there. It doesn't really make sense of face powders next to lip glosses, but those are lip glosses that I don't really use very often, so it doesn't really make a difference. They just kind of fit in there the best out of anything else in my collection. Okay, so this next drawer is just kind of overflow eyeshadow palettes. Not necessarily that I don't like, but I just have rotated out for now. And then I have some like contour palettes or bigger palettes in there. And then in the front right there is my eyebrow products. So, so the stuff that I use, I keep in my everyday makeup drawer, I don't keep in here. Those eyebrow products are really just stuff that I have kind of tested in videos or people have given me and I don't really use very often. So it's kind of been relegated to there. Every once in a while I'll keep stuff, I'll take stuff out of there for my bought it, forgot it. And I'll try it out if I haven't yet. But for the most part, that's stuff that I don't really use at all. So this very last drawer is just 100% backup items and eyelashes. So everything on the left is mostly mascara um, that has not been opened yet and some backup stuff. And so that's what all that is. And I'll just take stuff out of there if, um, obviously if I need new mascara or if I need it. And then on the right is all my lashes. I These are ones that I either am rotating in and out or I just haven't got to use yet. And, if there was a drawer in here that I think is kind of not being used properly, it's probably this one. I could probably stand to take all this stuff, put it in a little storage bin somewhere else, and then use this drawer for maybe like expand my highlighters or reorganize my eyeshadows or something like that. But for now, this is working because I rotate stuff in and out and I'm not looking for stuff in these drawers on an everyday okay, basis. Okay guys, so that is it for my how I organize my makeup video. Um, I hope that you found something helpful about this, some tip, some trick, especially if you have very limited space like I do, kind of how I integrate my makeup into my real life, you know? So if you have any tips for me, by all means, leave them in the comments. I'd love to hear about them. And that's it for today. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.